So today, League Town lost 2 0. Um, what are you most disappointed about today's game? Everything. Full performance. That's how blunt I've got to be this week. Um, we turn up as a staff, as, as players as well, because it's unfair because it's not every player. Uh, we work on stuff and it does not in involve lumping the ball long. And I've just watched us do that for an hour. No, it's not good enough. So it's not acceptable, it's not good enough. And, it, and it will, there'll be a big, big change uh, over the next seven days. Where do you go next? Um, What's got to change? I think we're going to have to change a couple of personnel, not in the sense of people leaving the club, um, but in the sense of people are going to have to come outside, people are going to have to sit on their hands now in the dugout for a bit. Uh, we absolutely play on a, or set up on a policy of you earn and keep your shirt, and to be honest with you, there was seven I could probably take out the side after today. I'm, I'm, for the first time since I've been the manager of the club, I'm embarrassed. Uh, and I, I'm not uh, I'm not prepared to say that again in the future. Who and who who do you think you need to bring back into this squad to make it better than what you had to watch I think, today? I think look, uh, and this isn't uh, aimed at the players that are playing in their positions, but I do think not having Adam Jones, not having Steve Mason, the two massive massive players in terms of experience, quality know-how and you know information taking uh, so they, they are massive losses but to be fair Kieran Nolan's come in and been outstanding um, you know he's not at his best game today he'll be the first one to admit that but he's not one of the lads that I think he needs to come out of the side Deck Evans has been consistently outstanding and probably been the best player for the club this season um, so like I say it's not a it's not a negative impact on them two or a negative comment on them two it's just that they're two lads that I do feel that when we get back in the side um, we'll see a bit of a different group the However, fans have been great as they have been for the last couple of games especially at home and yeah. um, got some good games coming up got Clitheroe um, on 8th December what would you say to the fans as a thank you and what would you say to make them come back and um, hopefully watch the players I'll, do if, better I'll be totally honest if they were here today and watch that I would blame them if they didn't come and that is soul destroying because of the absolute volume of effort that the volunteers from the club have put in um, and you know the board, myself, Terry, the players to be fair to have made such inroads to bring the fans back to then go and put that performance in and jeopardise it is um, it's frustrating. Um, the, the support since we've been here and more so this season, um, they've been behind us solid and they even are today, I've been patting on the back, hands shut, told not to worry in the bar. Uh, I'm not worried, you know, I'm not, you know, we're here for the long run. Um, the board are very, you know, behind the plan and the project that we do. I think it's time now that the players take a little bit of uh, heed of what we're trying to do and we need to keep the fans on side. So it's over to them for me a little bit, but uh, I can't thank the support enough. And again, I'll apologise for the performance um, on behalf of myself and the players and the staff. Um, and I can assure you it won't happen again and that'll be the last time you see a long ball game here.